In this class, we are going to learn how to make use of this operation that is insert or update, in other words, merge operation in any database adapter in Oracle integration. Suppose if you have a table in your database, for demonstration purpose, I am considering this employee table. So this is having three columns. So the specification will look something like this. I'm having three columns over here, ID, name and email ID. ID, what I have done is I have considered this as a primary key. If user does not pass the value, what I am doing is I am defaulting it to the next value in this sequence. That is the sequence I have created in the database. Now before I demonstrate how this integration is built in order to do the insert or update depending upon the ID available in this column. So this we will learn shortly. So before that we will see a short demonstration of this integration. I will run the integration and will see view of the test cases. I have opened the test window for this integration that is test merge db01 which I have created in order to make use of this merge operation in the database table. So for our use case, I have considered the ATP database but the merge operation will pretty much work same across all the Oracle databases. Now for testing purpose, I have considered two person's details over here that is a two employee information. If you see over here in the table, we are having three columns, ID, name and email ID. I'm passing the information for a couple of employees that is Abu Bakr and Umar and ID I'm explicitly passing. Let me just put the ID as one, two and currently we don't have any details over here or the records in our database table. Let me just read them. If you see empty table we are having as of now. I will click on run. In the response, I'm getting success. Let me just run and see. Now this time we are seeing couple of records got inserted over here. What if I want to update again? Now this time what we have to do is we have to keep the ID same that is one and two and we have to modify the details. Instead of Abu Bakr one, I will tell Abu Bakr two at dummy.example.com. Here what I will do is I will change the name to Umar one and email ID also one. If you see ID is the primary key in our case that is this one. So this is the most important thing you have to consider while making use of merge operation in database adapter. Now ID we have to use the same. So depending on this ID, it will find the unique record in the database table and it will overwrite the details. Now let me just click on run. I'm getting a success status over here. Now let me just run. Now this time it has to change Umar to Umar1 and Abu Bakr it has to create Abu Bakr2 at dummy.example.com whatever details we had provided over here. Now let me just run. Also, you have to make sure it is overriding same records and not inserting a new record. If I run, it has updated the record that is Umar to Umar1 and Abu Bakr's email ID has been updated. Now, what if we are having one entry that is newly to be created in our database and one entry we are updating. Suppose I want to make Umar to Umar2 and email ID also I will override. ID I will pass 2 here and ID for this one new employee I will make as 3. And this is a new employee which must go into the database table. Currently, we don't have ID 3, only 1 and 2 are there. Now, this time it has to create or insert a new record into the table and it has to update a previous record. Both it has to do with the single call. Let me just click on run. I got the status as success. Now, if I just refresh this, I should see three records. If you see a new employee has been added over here that is Abu Bakr 1 and Abu Umar 2's information got overwritten. Now let's see how I have created this integration. This is the integration which I have created that is test merge db01. While demonstration we had seen I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol and in the request and in the response we are seeing the JSON message. So this is the first thing how I have exposed. This is a very simple integration. Only thing is we have to drop the ATP connection over here. Any database connection will work for this use case. Then we have to provide the endpoint name, meaningful name. Then under the operation we have to select insert or update merge. Select the perform and operation on the table. Instead of stored procedure or run and SQL, you will have three options. You have to select perform and operation on the table and make sure you are selecting merge. You have to select for insert or update within brackets merge. Click on next. Then we have to select the table, you will get an option, all those things are basics. Then at the summary, you will see what annual details you have over here. Suppose if you are having a sequence, you can attach the sequence over here, going to the advanced options over here, you can attach the sequence. Suppose in our case, we are having a sequence for the ID, I am attaching the sequence over here. So this is of no use, I will tell you shortly what error we will face in spite of adding the sequence over here. Let me just close this. So this is a very simple integration and in the mapping whatever data I am getting, I am just looping over it and mapping to the database connection. 
here if you see i have put the for loop and it will loop over the items in our request that is we have couple of employees over here it will loop over and map id to id name to name and email id to email id and in the response i am just hard coding the success message so like this we can make use of update or insert that is merge operation in atp connection and we can insert the new record or we can update the previous record depending upon the primary key now coming to the issue suppose we have over here the clause that is if id we do not supply we want that to be defaulted to this sequence next value so this is not working in oracle integration gen 3 at the time of recording this class suppose if i just remove this id over here ideally it should create a new id and insert into the database table if i click on run so this is erroring out so it is not creating a id and inserting into the table even though we have a clause over here that is in case id is null we have to default it to the sequence next value so this is because of this issue i will show you over here click on next now if you just scroll down over here under the tables and if you just click on this review and filter columns just click on view here if you see id is marked as not null so this error is at the integration layer once it sees any column is marked as not null it is expecting you to send the data in this field so you cannot send the empty so this error is not at the database layer this error comes in the integration layer so in our next class we will see how we can overcome this issue